So today we're going to talk about the dangers of not absorbing fat. So many people are concerned with the dangers of fat. Let's talk about the dangers of not absorbing fat. And this is a very common situation. Do we need fat? Is it essential? Well, it is because there's such a thing as essential fatty acids, okay? There's also essential amino acids, but there's no such thing as an essential carbohydrate. So let's say, for example, you're not absorbing fat. What's going to happen? Well, first of all, you're going to be deficient in something called essential fatty acids. Uh, there's two main ones, uh, DHA and EPA. These are omega-3 fatty acids. There's also uh, ALA, but that's kind of a precursor that turns into the active form of omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids are very, very important in preventing heart disease, inflammation. You need it for your, your eyes, your brain, your nervous system, uh, many, many different functions. So you'll be deficient in essential fatty acids. You may also be deficient in vitamin E, which is essential for protecting the lining of the vascular system. It's essential for uh, oxygen in the muscles. This is why if you're deficient in vitamin E, you're going to feel very weak in your muscles. Also, skin, um, pituitary function, hormone function. Vitamin D, oh my gosh, that's calcium metabolism, immune system. If you're deficient in vitamin D, you're going you're gonna to be sad. You're gonna, you might be depressed. You might have low back pain and a lot of other issues. Low vitamin A. So you're driving at night, you can't see in the dark that well. Uh, you have sinus issues, sleep apnea, poor immune system. Uh, vitamin K1, you're not clotting, you're getting bruising, things like that. Vitamin K2, calcium buildup in the kidney and the arteries and the joints as arthritis. And you're going to have problems using cholesterol, which is needed in all of your cell membranes. It's needed to make certain hormones, like all the sex hormones, cortisol, which is the stress hormones. You need cholesterol for the brain, for the nervous system. You need cholesterol to make bile, okay? That helps you break down fats. So some of the symptoms that you may experience if you're not absorbing fat would be fatty, pale stool. Your stool actually floats, doesn't sink. Foul-smelling stool, protruded abdomen, you're getting a lot of bloating, a lot of gas, weak muscles. Scoliosis could be another symptom. Your vision is very poor. Uh, ataxia, which is coordination problems, gait problems when you're walking. You feel clumsy, you keep bumping into things. Damage to the retina of the eye, and you have vision problems. All right, so what are some of the causes of not absorbing fat? Well, anything that's going to damage the lining of the gut, Crohn's, irritable bowel syndrome, celiac, which is uh, from uh, gluten, cystic fibrosis, which is a genetic condition of the lung where you're producing a lot of mucus and you have a hard time breathing. Uh, liver damage, and I'm talking about a fatty liver, cirrhosis of the liver, uh, inflammation of the liver. So the more fat you have on the liver, the less you're gonna produce bile, the less you're gonna absorb fatty acids. So if you have a fatty liver, the absorption of these key things are gonna be diminished. Uh, and of course, if you have your gallbladder removed, you're not gonna store the amount of bile that you had. Uh, you'll still get some drainage, but you won't have the full capacity of the bile salts. So I would recommend to take purified bile salts. And by the way, taking purified bile salts is just one thing you should do if you have a problem absorbing fat. The other things that you should do uh, would be taking maybe something like a good probiotic because 90% of the bile is recycled uh, in the gut. So that's important as well. And you may need to take some of these nutrients in higher amounts uh, so it can bypass the damage in the colon, which is a barrier in the absorption. All right, problem with the pancreas. Let's say you're not able to produce the enzymes necessary, like the lipases and things that are necessary to break down or absorb these fats. Or let's say you have diabetes. Well, if you have a problem with diabetes, chances are you're also gonna have a problem with the enzymes that are produced by the pancreas. Because the pancreas does two things. It makes enzymes to digest certain things, and it also makes endocrine hormones, uh, insulin, glucagon, to help regulate blood sugars. All right, then we actually get to stomach acid. So if you don't have enough stomach acid, you may have a hard time releasing the bile from the gallbladder because they both work together. And lastly, if you had gastric bypass for weight loss, um, that can actually diminish your ability to absorb 
fats. All right, so now that you're aware of some of the consequences and dangers of not absorbing fat, the next thing is to basically find out which one of these is the cause, okay? I have a lot of videos on these as an individual topic, and I'm gonna put some links down below um, so you can get more, more information on that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hey, before you go, would you mind putting a comment down below to tell me what you think about this video?